it's your birthday. Happy birthday. You're five today. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? You can't have my tea. You can't have my tea. She wants my cup of tea. Not for you, darling. I'll get you a treat in a minute. Okay? I'll get you a treat now. Birthday treat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> right. What have we got? What have we got? One-handed. This is hard. There we go. We got a bone. Have we got a bone? Are you going to sit? 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 Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Yes, you good girl. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So I've just grabbed myself a little cup of tea, and I thought I'd just come and have a sit down and have a little catch up with you all. So it is Queen Betty's birthday today, as you may have just seen. So she is five today. Bless her. Are you excited? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, I don't think she could care less. Anyway, I thought I'd just sit down, have a little cup of tea and have a little chat to you guys, really, and just have a little catch up as to what's gone on this week, what's going on in the house. And yeah, because let's face it, there's not really much else going on outside of this house because we can't really go out. I just thought I'd have a quick catch up. So the garden, we have got a guy coming tomorrow to give us another quote for the patio and the wall. And so hopefully it will be a little bit more of a in our price range kind of quote but we'll see we're going to ask him to quote us a few different things so that maybe we can find something that at least we can yeah we can go with so that's exciting i'll um, give you an update tomorrow as to how that went and then what else have i got to tell you we oh the wardrobes for the dressing room i don't know if you really call it a dressing room because i'm not going to have a dressing table in it but i am going to use the room to get dressed in so i I guess it is a dressing room. Um, I did think about having a dressing table in there, but to be honest, I, I had one in our old house and I never used to sit and do anything at it. It was very pretty, but it just used to sit there and just was a bit of a waste of space because I never used it. I always ended up kind of just sitting on the floor and doing my makeup on the floor in front of the mirror. So I've got a big old mirror that I've ordered um, that will be arriving. And I just thought that I would do that instead. So it's more a wardrobe room and um, I've got a little bit of a display for my bags and my shoes. So I'll, um, I'll pop a little bit up on screen actually and show you the visuals for it. So really excited to get that going. Actually, I'll take you upstairs. I'll take you upstairs now and I'll show you it because it'll probably be easier to see it in the room itself. I'm just gonna put my a cup of tea down and take you upstairs. I'm going to apologise right now because this room is a little bit of a mess. It is the room that we are currently sleeping in, but we will be moving into a different room for obviously when the guys come to do the wardrobe. So let me just turn you around and I will show you. We have got this whole mattress that we're lying on. Oh, that's Betty's toy. There you go, darling. Okay. We've got a nice long wall, fairly long wall here. Um, you've got the window wall and then a shorter wall here. So if I pop a light on, it might be a bit better. There we go. Along this long wall, there will be three double wardrobes back to back. I've got a really nice radiator cover that I've ordered coming for here. And then along this wall is going to be the uh, a chest of drawers, a wide chest of drawers, and then kind of a display cabinet around it. So I'll again, I'll pop a picture up on screen so that you can kind of visualize what it will look like. Really excited. And they're gonna be coming in two weeks, I think, to get that sorted. We're gonna have new flooring put down as well. So we're going to have um, kind of oak laminate flooring put down and yes, and then we will get started with the rest of the renovations in here. I've also ordered a faux sheepskin rug from Danelle to go in the middle and a little sort of puff to go in the middle so that I can have a little sit down if I want to. But yeah, that is what is going to be going on up here in, I think they're coming on the 15th of February, just over two weeks, which is very exciting. And then the bathroom. So we're going to get started on the bathroom this weekend. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So I'll show you actually now. So this is the bathroom as it stands. And it's, don't get me wrong, it's very nice. I really like the tiling on the, uh, the grey tiling around the bath there. That's very nice. 
don't dislike it at all, but having done the downstairs one, I just kind of come up here and go, yeah, it's a little bit boring. I thought that we would do something to spruce it up a little bit. So my idea is the panelling that we've got in the downstairs bathroom, we'll have that coming along all the way through the outside, obviously not along this wall. And it's gonna be white, it's gonna be in Wevet, which is the color of the living room. So it's gonna be in that kind of color. And then the second half of the wall is going to be in uh, railings by Farrow and Ball, which is the actual color of the paneling in the downstairs bathroom. So it'll be white along the bottom panels and then the top wall will be kind of a dark, blacky, blue color. color. So yeah, I think that will look really nice. I think it will just give it a bit more of a, spruce up in here just a bit more of a hmm, something nice to look at anyway that is the plan in there i don't think really there's much else to update you on housewise that i can think of i've had a little delivery little it's quite a big delivery it's a big vase i've had a delivery there so i'll unbox that with you in a moment i have had a quick quick sneak peek at it and I have got another delivery, which I believe is from one of my lovely subscribers. So Torben, I think this is my Pilates socks from you. So thank you so much for that. I finally found a way to get them over. Um, so I'll unbox those in a moment and show you them as well. I also just wanted to say, I don't know why, but I don't think my emails are getting to anyone outside of the UK or in Europe anyway. I think there might be some sort of problem with privacy issues or something. I've read something to do with that, that there's some sort of problem with um, emailing. So I am receiving your emails, but unfortunately you guys aren't receiving my replies. So I am replying, I promise, but yeah, for whatever reason, they're, they're not getting to you. So you know what might be best to just kind of comment on the video and then we can kind of chat that way around or, or what really. Hopefully they'll sort out the emails at some point and we can get going on that again. But yes, um, oh, I just wanted to quickly show you these as well. So, in the um, dressing room, as I said, we're going to have the little display cabinet. And I really wanted some lights, down, so, so down lights in each of the little cubby holes to kind of display and show the bags off a little bit more and the shoes off a little bit more. So, I ordered these from Amazon. They were... 15 quid so really not bad and you get a pack of six and I have put the batteries in just one here um, and you get a little remote which is I thought was really good so you've obviously got on off you've got the increased brightness decreased brightness and then you can have the brightness at different percentages and then you can have it on a timer and I thought that was really good for 15 pounds it's really not bad it doesn't come with the batteries, so you do need to put the batteries in but if I just flick that on it's a really nice bright white light so I think it will look really nice um, just down in the little cubby holes and actually if you haven't got any under lighting for your kitchen cupboards that's a really nice way of doing it as well so you can also tap it to turn it on and off um, but you have got this really handy remote so I really like that a lot and it comes with little stickies that you can um, attach onto the wall with so yeah, I thought they was really good for £15 so I bought another two boxes of them so that I will have lots of them in my dressing room slash wardrobe room when it's ready so I'm getting really excited about that um, and getting that all organised and all underway it's going to be yeah it's going to be really nice so I really can't wait for that and yes, oh, one more thing, one more thing before I let you go. Just got a new camera. So at the moment I'm still on my GoPro, but my new camera is due to arrive today. So I thought it was about time that I retired my lovely GoPro and invested in the channel and invested in a new camera. So I've got myself a Canon G7X. Um, it seems to be the one that is particularly good at this kind of thing. So. I'm hoping that in the next few clips, I think probably in the next clip you'll still be on the GoPro, but when I start filming tomorrow, you will see a noticeable increase in the quality of the video. I'm excited about trying that out. I'm terrified of dropping it, um, but I just need to get over that. I need to get myself a really nice case for it, actually, a nice, good, sturdy case so that it's nicely secure. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to filming on that and hopefully getting a bit more quality videos out to you guys as well. And I think 
And that is all my updates. I don't think I've got anything else to tell you. I've got another flower delivery coming today from Arena. I always feel like I vlog on the days that I get my flowers delivered. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to see them, isn't it? Uh, it is tulips today, I think, and we're going to get 50 tulips. I always think you get such a lot out of the um, subscription. You get, you get lots and lots of flowers, which is really lovely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those arriving later today. So what I will do now is I'm going to put you down and I'm going to unbox the vase with you and I'll the lovely gift from Torben with you as well and, and then we will go from there. Okay, so I've got my two parcels here. I'm going to start with my parcel from Torben. So I've just um, undone it a little bit but I haven't got it out yet. So there's some socks. Oh, there's a little note. Let me read that. So it says, Dear Alicia, you have no idea how helpful your videos are. Oh, they make my life more enjoyable and I have less pain. Thank you. So Torben does my Pilates um, workouts. I hope you like the Pilates slippers and that they fit well. If you like, you can send me a picture that you've got the package. I'll do better than that. I'll put it in my video. <laughs> I wish you keep on having fun and success with Truly Pilates. Stay happy and healthy. Oh, honestly, thank you so much. I will keep this forever because this is my first bit of kind of mail, so to speak, from a subscriber. So I will keep this forever and I will keep these forever. Let's have a little look at these. Oh, how gorgeous are they? Oh, they are going to be perfect. Oh, I think they're going to be just the right size as well, actually, because I have got quite dinky feet. So that looks as though... Yeah, they're going to be perfect. I will make sure I wear those when I feel my next um, Pilates workout. Thank you so, so much. Honestly, that has just made my day. It really, really has. So thank you, Torben. I really do appreciate that so much. So, ah, oh. Okay, right, on to the vase then. It's quite big. There were two sizes. The smaller size was out of stock, so I just went, oh, let's get the big one. And I'll show you when I've unboxed it what I'm kind of thinking of with it. It's so big, but it's really, really lovely. So, uh, yeah, oh, it's heavy. Okay, gonna have to stand up. Right. Honestly, it came out much easier when I did it the first time on my own without filming. <laughs> it's a waste of way. This is my beautiful, gigantic vase. Now what I'm planning on doing with it is, I just, I mean look at that texture on it and the detail on it, it's really lovely, really really lovely. And this is from Society House, um, I found them on Instagram, I actually got really influenced from a home account that I follow, the lovely Anna, so I'll leave her account, um, her Instagram account details below so that you can go check her out as well, but I saw it in her house and I was like, well, I need it. I ordered it and I love it. I think it's amazing. I really love the detail. I think it's really gorgeous and, and large, which for this, I really like. So what my plan is, is to get some faux flowers and to put some beautiful faux flowers in there. I'm thinking colour-wise, I'm really loving like um, the burgundy hydrangeas and things like that. I think they look really, really lovely. So I'm going to put them in it. And then out in the hallway, I'm going to order a really lovely radiator cover. And so we're going to have the radiator cover on, a couple of little bits and pieces on the radiator cover, and then this next to it. So let me just show you what I, what I mean. So oh, let's, bring, let's bring the vase with us, shall we? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. So this is the radiator that I'm meaning to. So what I want is a really lovely radiator cover. Again, I have seen one online. I'll pop a picture up on that on screen now. I'd ideally like it black with then the oak top because we're actually going to paint the banister so what we're going to do with the banister is that this bit is going to be black and the top is going to be back black and all the top of that will be black and then these bits are going to remain white um, and this bottom bit is also going to be black so it's just going to give us a little bit more texture and a little bit more to look at with the banister so i thought a black radiator cover would be nice and with the oak top and then i just thought sitting in the corner next to it, it kind of hides that plug socket there a little bit will be a lovely beautiful big vase of flowers it doesn't look like it really goes right now but in my vision it does it so it will look lovely and of course we're going to have all the paneling all along here 
as well so I think it will and all up the stairs um, I think it will all fit in really lovely we're not going to start doing that until after we've had the wardrobes done because I just thought there's no point in doing anything to the hall and stairs when they're going to be lugging stuff up and down so that will be our project to do after that so probably beginning of March time maybe maybe end of February if I can persuade Jamie to get started on it then we might do that's the plan for that but yeah I really like that I think that's a really really cute vase Yes, yeah, I said I really like the detail on it and it's just something a little bit different. I've just got in from Betty's birthday walk and my arena flowers arrived whilst we were out. They were on the doorstep when I got in. So I just thought I would show you them quickly. I swear this channel is turning into floristry lessons with Alicia. Um, <laughs> not like it. So we've got tulips today. Oh, I do love tulips I mean I'm never going to make them look as good as that but I can try my best I can try my best so I'm going to get these in the vases Look at them all, there's so many of them. I've had to put the body vase up there and I'll pop this away for the time being. But there's so, so many, look, and they're just glorious. I can't wait for those to come into full bloom. As always, Arena, you have just done such a great job yet again. Oh, I can't wait for them to bloom. They're gonna look just beautiful. So I will show you in the next couple of days once they start to flower and give you a little update. I also just thought I would show you these. It's been a busy day with deliveries today. So these are from Artifact Flowers. They are, of course, um, faux. So this is gonna go in the upstairs bathroom. I thought a little bit of greenery just brightens up a bathroom. So that's gonna go up there. And then this beauty, Look at her. Gosh, those colors are stunning. That is gonna go in my dressing room. So I've got a lovely tray that my one of my best friends bought me. Actually, let me go and get it. Hold on. So one of my gorgeous, gorgeous besties bought me this mirrored tray as a moving in housewarming present. So I did think in my dressing room it would look fabulous with this on. And then I was thinking a candle or something like that oh it looks so pretty so that will go on the i was gonna say dressing table but we had a long conversation about how i'm not having a dressing table so that will go on the chest of drawers on the left hand side when you walk into the dressing room or the wardrobe room and yeah oh it looks beautiful really really happy Good morning everyone, it is now Sunday morning. I am on my new camera today, so I'm hoping that you can notice a big increase in the quality of the footage. I really hope so anyway. So I'm currently in the living room. I just thought I would show you my vase because I popped some flowers in it and I think it looks lovely. So I thought I'd just show you that quickly and then in a moment I will show you the progress of the bathroom upstairs. Well, not really progress, we're just starting it. So I will show you what we're up to up there, but I thought I'd just quickly show you my vase first so here it is so I got some flowers from the range I actually bought them a little while ago before this lockdown 3.0 started um, they're really nice because they've got a long stem so actually they fit really well in the size of the vase so I think that they look really lovely in there I like the colors of them the kind of the antique color of rose and the off-white um, hydrangea I think that is there and some eucalyptus in there so I think it looks really pretty and yeah really pleased with that okay uh, let's show you upstairs so Jamie is just in here, just masking up, getting all ready. So we're gonna have from the masking tape upwards will be ferro and ball railing. So the color of the panels in the downstairs bathroom. And then the bottom half is going to be um, paneled, but with Webet ferro and ball. So it'd be like an off-white color, actually same color as what we've got in the living room. 
So yes, that should look really nice. Our main focus today is to get the top half painted and done and then we'll see how we get on from there, whether we can get the rest of it done or started or not, but I would imagine that we'll do the rest of it next weekend. So you can see me in the mirror there with my decorating clothes on. Yeah, I will keep you updated as to our progress. All right then guys, so we have done the first two coats of the colour. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm going to show you that quickly now. And then I think I'm probably going to finish today's video because we're not going to be doing much else. Um, and yes, the panels will go on next weekend, so I will keep you posted and show you those in the next video. So let me just spin you around and show you the colour. I think it looks lovely. Here we are. So we're, as I said, the bottom half will be in panelled white and then we've got the top half in, yeah, ferro and ball railings colour and I think it looks just fab. I think it looks really nice up against the um, grey tiles there as well. We're going to reseal all along down here. Oh, Jamie will. We. <laughs> Jamie will. So yeah. I hope that you like it. So then guys, I will catch you all in the next video. As always, if you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. All right then guys, I will catch you all in the next one.